Hello everybody, it's Major Dot or Shane here, and today we are going to be resuming our cheat engine tutorial. So, I know everything looks a little bit messy right now, and possibly even a little bit confusing, but what we are going to do, just ignore all this stuff, I was just messing around a bit beforehand, um, is we are going to be using the cheat engine built in tutorial to show you what data structures are, the structure dissection. So, so we're going to start off by searching for our players. Now everybody is using a float value in this. So we can just quickly find them and bring them down. And your goal for this tutorial is to make it whenever you click this, you'll kill off the enemies and you'll survive. Now the problem is, is they each have 500 health and you don't. You run out way quicker. So there's your problem. And they don't want you to use, they don't want you to pause the values because they can detect that and they will not allow you to pass. So that's the general explanation on what is going on in the tutorial, but we are just going to be using a part of that tutorial. So, we're going to be taking all of these. Now, before we continue, I just want to make it out so that you guys can see a different way of doing this. Now, normally you have the offset, and you guys can find the offset by going out, seeing what writes this address, and then changing it. So right here, the offset is 04. Now, we are going to be doing something else. We're going to take this a step further, and let's say we only had, we didn't have any of these three, okay? We just had this top one, this one that we just checked right here. We can go down here, and we can say, what address this instruction accesses? And just like that. So we're gonna go back over here, we're gonna stop this, and we're just gonna do that. I'm going to change this over to floats since right now we're working with floats and we'll just shove this up here in this corner. There we go. So now we're going to tag everybody in here and boom, we instantly, instead of having to go through and search for everybody, we just found everybody at once. Now what's so beautiful about this, you can just, uh, you can do a whole bunch of stuff with them, but what we want to do, like copy the addresses to the address list, just throws them in there. Makes it a lot easier. But what we are going to want to do is open dissect data with selected addresses. And boom. Just like that, we can actually uh, delete this one. Just like that, we found all four base addresses. Okay, that's weird. Let's go ahead and define a new structure then. We'll just leave this one behind. Something weird happened and I don't know what. So we'll give the name for the structure as game. So this is the game structure. And boom! Right there, right off the bat, we can already see everybody's health. Without even lifting a hound, we found everybody's health right there. But everybody's in good guys. So how we can do this is we can add a new group and we can name this bad guys. Now we know that the bad guys have over 400 health, so we can move this guy over to bad guys by right clicking and doing that. And then we can move this guy over to bad guys by just copying and pasting. There we go. Right here is the health. Nobody shares a health on this side, but the enemies do share health. So their side is going to be green, while the good guy's side is going to be red. So we can go ahead and rename this to health. We can rename this one to team. Because as you can see, the good guys, one and two, they have their values at one. While these guys, the bad guys, have their value at two. 
And then down here is their names. So right there, right off the bat, we've already found three addresses that are really important. The names aren't so much important as everything else, but this is somewhat important. Now, we need to find out what changes them, and it just so happens to be this one right here, the, subst the subtraction, auto symbol, tools, code injection, there we go. Okay. So right here we have all the code, and this is where we are going to do our comparison, and this is how it's useful. So all over here we saw, we saw how do you get to the section dissect, and over here we saw what it can be used for, like um, what it's used for. You can see the, all the different address types attached to something and what you're nearby. And now we're going to see how it's used in day-to-day -day cheat engine use. So in this case we are going to first we're going to compare and we are going to go CMP for compare and we are going to oops we're going to place what we are comparing inside of there. We are comparing we are comparing EBT I mean EBX my bad and now we need the offset. Now, what are we comparing? We are going to compare the team value. So we are going to go EBX plus 10. We are going to compare that to 1. If it's 1, then we're going to execute this code. If it's not, then we're going to execute the other code. Okay, so we can go jump not equal to original code. And now we're going to execute our code. And what we're going to do is really simple. We're just going to first copy all of this that they've already done. We're just going to paste it right there. And we're going to change one small thing. To add. Yep. Okay, so now we just injected the code. So if we go over here. Oh no. Well, I did something wrong. It was most likely around where I started adding things. Oh, I see where it is. Give me a second. Um. Let's see if that fixes it. There we go. There we go, okay. So now we can restart game, stop, and then autoplay. And there we go. So I just forgot to jump over to the exit and it was, it was freaking out a little bit. As you can see, the structure dissect allowed me to find something that the two teams had difference-wise. And that was their team number, which was a single byte that said either one or two. I then took that knowledge and applied it in here by comparing this offset, their team offset, which is the offset of 10 right here, to one. If it's one, I'm going to run this code, which instead of, uh, instead of subtracting, I'm adding. And then it just jumps over to the exit. If it's not equal to one, then I'm just going to run the original code and then it's going to go down to exit. So I don't expect you guys to understand the coding part yet. Even I'm still a little bit fuzzy on the coding part. But that was not the point of the tutorial. The point of the tutorial was so that you guys could hopefully learn a little bit about the structure dissect and how it's useful for everyday use. From having their health values, I was able to find their team values and their names. And I think something even as simple as that is just amazing to be able to have access to. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys learned something new. Next episode, hmm, what should we do next episode? Actually, I'm a little bit happy to say this, but... 
Next episode will be the last part in our basic tutorial series. So next episode we're going to be looking at we're going to be looking at how to make a simple trainer. And then after that, we're going to start up our advanced tutorial series. Although I will be taking a small break in between this tutorial series and the next one. So I'm really excited to see you guys next time when we make our first trainer.